Hello, my name is Hayley Kruger and I'm going to talk to you about the essentials of soldering. You're going to need a few tools to get you started and those tools are a torch and in the torch you're going to need to put some butane gas which you can insert at the bottom of the torch there. That is really easy, you can buy the gas from a supermarket or a petrol station and that's what makes it very convenient. So you fill it till it feels cool in the handle or until it starts to splutter out the back. Another thing you're going to need is something called flux. So flux is a solution that tells our solder where to go. You get different forms of flux. So this particular one I have here is a liquid flux, but you can use the gel flux and you can use borax as well. But whatever you do with soldering, you definitely need some flux. The next most important thing is of course the solder itself. So we use different strengths of solder and in this particular case I've got three sheets and when we say three strengths we mean easy, medium and hard. So hard will be the one with the highest number on it and that means it melts at the highest temperature. Let me see if I can show you those numbers. The next one is medium solder and that one melts at a medium temperature. So that is around about 700 degrees. And then the lowest number, 65, melts at the lowest temperature, about 680 degrees, but that is slightly variable. The reason why that might be useful is if you're doing something that's fairly complex in terms of soldering, you don't want your first solder joint to run. So you'll start with hard solder or the strongest solder then you move on to your medium solder and then your final soldering join, your usual easy. With any kind of soldering, you need to go straight in with the hard solder first because it is your strongest. But that's not to say that the easy solder isn't really tough. Anything that's soldered with any of these metal solders is a solid piece of metal once done. Another item that you're going to need is your solder block. So your solder block is often a ceramic block or a charcoal block. But whatever you're doing, uh, whatever you're using, it will need to be something that reflects the heat back into your work, but also protects the surface of your table or your workstation. So I've also got a solder block and a, I've got a metal dish that's going to protect my table, but you can have another ceramic dish, you can have a few bricks, you can have anything that's going to protect the surface, or you can work by your kitchen sink on the metal surface as well. So we've got our torch, we've got our flux, we've got our solder block and our solder. And another thing you're going to need is something called pickle. Now I've got it in a little jar here. Pickle is a chemical solution which cleans the dirt or the burnt areas off our piece of silver or copper. And that's really important because if you don't clean the metal, then you go on to solder again, you get something called fire stain. And fire stain is a mark that lingers underneath the surface of silver. So you have to pickle, and pickling is usually done with a pickle solution or a citric acid, and it is one of those essential stages in soldering too.